Welcome to Flash Tutorial Request 2, Bone Tool Part 1. I've been asked to do some tutorials on bone tools. I personally don't use them, just my preference. I'm starting a new FLA and I'm keeping the default setting. Uh, layer 1 is going to be called Body as in the body of, of some kind of a of a thing a creature or something like that picking up the oval tool and making my stage about 50 percent so I can get some perspective and I'm making a body there it is locking that layer open the layer up here now I'm going to make my stage 200 percent so I can see that body and call this section one S E C section one and this is the part where I'm going to start making things for a bone tool and I'm going to use my oval tool but now I'm going to make a long oval like that there it is going to pick up my selection tool highlight it modify it convert it to a symbol make movie sure movie clip is selected you have to use symbols and you may as well use a movie clip if you're going to use the bone tool so I'm going to call this section one underscore MC just a habit of that I have a call in MC free transform tool and I'm going to rotate that to there and click on it and drag it and put it roughly where this is roughly close to the center of this this one here while this is selected I'm going to right click copy it unlock this layer open new layer call it section 2 select that first frame come down here paste in place because I copied that there it is there drag it off I'm going to make this one shorter and slightly narrower and I'm going to change the rotation to there pick it up and put it on top of there so there's some overlap with the two now this this is you can spend some time with this because when you see the bone tool work you might want to rearrange how this is done lock that layer insert another layer call it section 3 and paste in place again just save them some time rotate it this way make it very short and drag it down here sort of like a a foot and there's the part like it looks like a leg unlock those three sections like that each of them is a movie clips if you click on it and open the properties panel you'll see it's been it's a movie clip it just hasn't been given any instance name that's a movie clip see it's a movie clip and a movie clip now comes the bone tool part over here there's the bone looks like a dog bone click on it and right here you start clicking where you want this uh, section to pivot and the sections I'm going to have is these three pieces two parts of a leg and a foot I'm going to start here, click and drag until I get that over. See where that junction is? I'm over that junction. Leave go, click and drag. And now I have that basic bone tool done. Click on my selection tool, click off to the side, and if I move it, that's what the bone tool can do now notice up in the timeline I created a new automatically a new line called armature it's pro actually probably called armature right one because th there's only one here but if there was two it would be armature two and so on notice sections one section two and section three are now empty you can delete those they're no longer used delete that layer delete that layer delete that layer everything is here now 
and it's all inside of this layer called armature. Let's click on this upper part of the leg. You can see it's highlighted with the blue here. Open the properties panel and you can see it's been given an instance name IK node underscore one. So when we made this armature layer and made this bone system it gave that a name. Let's click on it again and it opens this this panel and one of the things in here is joint rotation well of course we want to enable it but this is the one I want to talk about right now this joint constrain if you click on that you'll see that this it's defaulted at 45 and 45 so I'm gonna make this one here 0 for minimum and I'm gonna make this one uh, say 90 for example so now if I go over here and click on this see this little triangle half pie thing I can't move it up but I can move it this way so it's got 90 degrees back which is this parameter but it can't go forward any that's that strain there and you can do the same for here if I click on here oops if I click on this one this is the node 2 another instance name click on it again and let's do the same with this one let's make this one go funny let's make this one go forward 45 degrees and let's make this one which oh yeah that to be a minus say minus 45 we'll leave it at that and we'll make this one 90 so this will have a, a different travel so this one can go forward 45 degrees from where it started and go all the way back to here and that's not too unrealistic for a leg Let's lift this foot up and set this boat there. If we tried to run this movie now, it would, wouldn't do anything. It would just, just stay there. Nothing, nothing would happen. So now what can we do with this, with this setup? If we select the armature layer and all my sections will highlight, open my property, this panel. Now we're looking at the system. Under type, click this pop down menu and click runtime. And we'll probably get a, a, a notification in our output panel. And that's because we made a whole lot of adjustments and things. If you just went clean from clean and did this, you wouldn't get this, this error. It, it really doesn't mean anything. So control, test, movie, test. So just ignore that 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 statement up there because in a later video we'll make and you, you'll see that doesn't have to happen so now this section here I can't move it forward because it's on its limit but I can move it back this one here I can move forward and back this one I can move anywhere but now look see what I, what I can do now that in itself is not a lot but you could make some kind of a in the next tutorial I'll make a, a little game with this so I hope you learned something from this video and I hope you use what you learn.